New tonight, a judge in Bridgeport has handed down a 65-year prison sentence for the man who killed a Bethel woman he met on a dating app in 2018. Brandon Roberts was convicted of Emily Todd's murder a few months ago, and today he learned whether he'd get the maximum penalty possible. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter is at the courthouse in Bridgeport where that sentencing took place. So Marissa, I imagine it was an emotional hearing. Absolutely, Roxanne. I mean, this has been a long and agonizing wait for the family of Emily Todd. Her mother, Jen Lawler, gave a powerful and tearful victim's impact statement, telling the court that her family has been living a life sentence ever since Brandon Roberts shot her daughter in the back of the head. She asked he get a life sentence too, the maximum sentence, 90 years. In the decision to murder my child, he took so much. Brandon took the light from my eyes, the strength from my legs, the air from my lungs, the joy from my heart, the trust from my world, and the faith in my God. Emily Todd was found face down in the sand by the public boat ramp in Bridgeport December 9th, 2018. She'd been shot in the back of the head and had to be identified by her tattoos because she was unrecognizable. Bridgeport police say Todd had briefly dated Roberts and ended things, but he lured her into one final meeting where he killed her, then stole her car and bank card, draining her account. In court today, state's attorney Joseph Corradino called Roberts arrogant, angry and manipulative and absent of any remorse. He pointed to Robert's behavior in the courtroom when he was found guilty. When the jury returned its verdict and the defendant was being removed from the courtroom, he looked to the victim's family and said, I'm alive, or at least I'm alive, something to that effect. In other words, to compound their grief, to compound their loss, he pointed out that he lives and Emily Todd is dead. And I think that all of those things taken together, again, I'm, I'm not a psychiatrist, but are indicative of the personality of a psychopath. Corradino also told the judge the most important thing in this sentencing is keeping the public safe from Roberts. He called him a, quote, nascent serial killer who will continue to kill if he's ever let out. Judge Alex Hernandez agreed, saying the most important thing here was to keep Roberts isolated. He said this sentence, 65 years, will do so. In Bridgeport, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.